everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to show you guys how to make this cute little booklet out of household items. Okay, so what the base of it is, is a flyer that you can get in the mail. Just one, one of these like thicker cardstock, just flyers that you get in your mail, just some junk mail. So I'm using that plus an old flannel and I have an old flannel. It's flannel and jean junk journal that I'm working on. And if you guys wanna get caught up with us, I will put that on the end screen and you guys come check out the playlist. And I show you guys how I construct this whole journal. And um, yeah, it's pretty fun and you guys can get caught up. Okay. so. What I'm going to show you guys today is something fun to put inside of it here. So let's move this. And we're going to work on that today. And what else I have is some feathers and some coffee dyed fabrics and laces here. So I just have some different coffee dyed fabrics and laces that I did little bundles with you guys. And I will put that on the end screen if you guys wanna see how I dyed these. Okay, so I just have a bunch of goodies in there to play with. And that's all throughout here that we did our little bundle here. Plus some sunflower uh, fabric and some threads. So keep your threads and your little scrap pieces. These are great for clusters. And yeah, and I got my little fun fur that we put up at the top here for our, clo our little topper and just some fun little things to play with that I had hanging around. And let's see, and I got some stamping that we'll do inside here. So I just got my ticket stamps and I'll make sure to put that in the links below and you guys can come check them out. These are fun to play with. Um, okay, so I got that. Um, and then I just have some onion, I think this is onion dyed, onion skin dyed lined paper that we can put on the inside and do some grunging. I'll show you guys what I do to grunge it up. So let's get started here. Okay. So what we're going to start off with is, we'll go ahead and get this going. So I just got the flannel here and I'm going to put that on the outside like that. And I got my glue stick. I'm just going to use a YooHoo glue stick because I'm going to do some sewing and you guys can, that's optional. I suggest if you're not going to sew, I would use some maybe Fabrifix glue or Fabri-Tac, something like that, a little more heavy duty. But for now, I'm just going to take this and for the inside, I'm going to go ahead and go like this. So let's just glue it. Let's give it a good glue down. Like that. I don't mind the wrinkles and stuff inside. I mean, I think that looks, gives a little more character, you know, a little more grunginess. Okay, so just kind of give it a crease where it wants to land. Okay, and for the outside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take it to my sewing machine and just do a zigzag stitch all the way around here. Okay. So I just wanted to show you guys over here. So if you want, you could put a little bit of glue just on the back here, just to tack it down for the fabric. Like that. And I like to have a little edge all the way around it of the fabric sticking out. Okay. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on my zigzag stitch and stitch it all the way around. Okay, so we got it all sewn around, and then now I'm gonna go ahead on the front here, this will be our front cover. I'm gonna take my crocodile and pop a hole and put a little eyelet in there. I did for the top up here is I just poked it through the eyelet, the piece of fabric. But before I did that, I took some of my fun fur here. And this is what it is. It's just fun fur, uh, uh, eyelash yarn is what it is. So I'm just gonna take it and I'll just do this. two pieces. Okay, and then I will go to my sewing machine and I'm putting it on each side. So let's see, one on this side and I'm going to do a zigzag stitch right over the top of it and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one just on top and then do a zigzag stitch. So go do that. So I'm just setting it up, putting it towards the edge, and then making sure that when I do the zigzag stitch, it's going to go on each side and tack it down. And you can see that I'm going on each side of it. So I'm making sure that the yarn is in the middle. Of the zigzag. So. so you can see just like that. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Take it and it's when a skewer comes in handy because you can just pop it through here like that. with that one I went ahead and sewed it you could just sew across here or we could just glue it so just turn it how you want it like that. And it could be crooked it could be however you want uh, I'll just take my fabric fix glue and just do a little gluing here I got my other bottle. There we go. I had one on standby because the other one's empty almost. Okay, there we go. So there, that's as far as I've gotten on that. 
And the next step I want to do is let's go ahead and layer this part up. So what I did is I just put a little bit of the lace down first and then these little cute balls on top. So let's see. And I just glued it. So you take your glue. Like this. Just about layering it up, so you like that. Okay, and we got that far. And now I wanna show you guys how I did this cute little cluster. They're super fun to make. So let's do that. So I started with just a piece of this. here so I got that I got all my fun little lace and stuff I'll bring out here I mean we could just pop in I mean just any kind of fabric scraps that you have that you've been wanting to use up um, I'm gonna incorporate some sunflowers throughout you know maybe even throw in a little bit of dyed uh, cheesecloth would be fun just some other little scraps let's see some threads of course um, I mean you could stack it up with anything we got this netting so we can make it a little bit different here some of the netting. Okay. Let's see here. And some threads. Alright. So what I did. Oh, and I need like a piece of fabric. Let's see. Maybe something like this. Okay. So I just kind of put this one down move and make some room here. So I just put that down, put some fabric, just go through, see what you want peeking out, have this just peeking out, maybe a little bit of netting, some fun layering here, some threads, I mean, you can even throw some jean in there. Threads. So he's kind of making a burrito in a way. Go like that. Like this. In there. Okay. And I have more of this on the outside. So, what you're going to do is just kind of wrap it up. Just go like this and then, you know, pinch it down. Just wrap it around how you want it. Have everything sticking out. 
that. So this is a great way to use up your scraps and it just looks really cool. Okay. And then what I did is just took a piece of lace wrapped it around how I wanted it, dangled a piece, did some slits through it, you know, just to add something. I just kind of like that. And just kind of look at it and go, okay, I think that's what I want. And what I did is took my needle, my needle here, and some embroidery thread. Okay. through and just put some X's in it just for some interest and to hold it together. I'm not really worried about the back because we're gonna, you know, you can leave that just hanging because we're gonna glue it so it'll make sure it'll be okay. It won't go nowhere. It won't come undone is what I'm trying to say. So you just go like that. And just do some designs in it however you want. I'm just gonna do some X's. Just to hold our little burrito together here, is what I'm calling it. <laughs> so we do that. button popped it right on top here make sure you can see your little X's and I just went ahead and sewed it just like that just to give it some closure on there, just get it sewn down. And the yellow looks really nice popping through. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave it. Oops, I'm stuck. <laughs> I was stuck on that one. Okay. So just kind of spread it out how you want it. Just really cool looking. bits off of here and then we can take our feathers and all I did was just kind of push them down in between here just slide them in however they're gonna fit just like that just kind of stick them in there just gives it a little more interest I really like it and uh, I have turkeys and chickens running around right now in our yard and uh, I've collected those feathers before they've been out and I've grabbed some of the chicken feathers and stuff but these I've actually ordered on Amazon I'll try to put those in the link below for you guys but these are really fun to play with but you could just you know even I found some crow feathers and stuff and you can find some bird feathers when you go on walks and different things like that so those are some things you can find around you know so there we go so that's how I made my little, I'm calling it my cluster burrito, my burrito cluster. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. And I just take it and I glue it down. Just go ahead and give it a good amount of glue because you don't want it coming off here. Make sure my yellow threads are kind of sticking out. They'll be incorporated. Okay. And I go like that. Probably go down a little bit with it. 
So just place it however you want it. I mean, what do you guys think? Is that super fun? So that's how I layer that up. Just gives it a little bit of interest and you're using up some scraps that you have on your desk and you know, some fun fabrics and threads and laces and you know, coffee dyed things that you've done or you know, some fabrics that you have just hanging around, some buttons. And yeah, I mean, that's just super fun to play with. Okay, and then on the inside, what I did, gotta get my gloves on for this part because I got permanent ink and I don't like to get it on my hands. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my ticket stamps, which are super fun to play with. And just some permanent ink here. And just pick one out. Just wherever, I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. I mean, even if it shows up like that, it doesn't matter. You can do it again because we're gonna smear it anyway and make it look old. So you don't have to do perfect stamping on it. I mean, you can even go through and kind of do some just faded stuff on there. I take and use is I got my fun little basket here um, and if you guys want to see how I made this this is super fun it is out of fabric this holds all my mixed media fun things and uh, I made this out of fabric and it's, it's just a fabric basket and I have a tutorial on how to make it and I add little pockets and stuff to it but if you guys want to come check that out, I'll make sure to put that on the end screen. And I just keep all my just mixed media things in it. So I got my gesso and water we're going to need today. I got my coffee spray, just instant coffee and water. So we can use some of that. And I think, is that what I did? I mean, we can even throw in some um, crackle. Do a little crackle. And... do that and then I right here I have just a uh, like Elmer's glue which is PVA glue water and coffee mixture so this is just kind of a thicker kind of thing we could splat on there so let's go ahead and do this so this is just some gesso and water and it's just white gesso and just water mixed up and I get it pretty watery and I like to use my fan brush for that. Um, so let's go ahead and just do some spritzing with coffee. See, that's why I said it doesn't matter because we're gonna coffee dye the paper a little bit and let everything run just to get it all grungy. Towel. And it might bring some of the stuff through, which I think that looks kind of cool. So if you got some really fun postcard that you got in the mail and stuff. I, I think that looks kind of neat having it come through. It's like an upside down E. So just think about that kind of thing because it will bleed through. So we can do that. We could do a little bit of splatters. Like that. dyed or coffee and water and just glue mixture so it's kind of like a runny paste which gives it kind of just a really cool look to it that's what this dried the darker stuff dries looking like so I kind of like that okay so this is some stuff I use to grunge up okay and then Go ahead and do just 
the crackle Tim Holtz here, the ranger. Let me just add a little, little crackle here and there. All right. So there we go. So we got that all grungy and I'll just set that over to the side and let it dry and there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And what I did, so I'll just put this to the side here, let it dry. But what I did here is you could just take your journal, find a spot that you wanna put it in. And I just took my little clip here that matches and just put it to one of the little papers right here and I just clipped it on this side, just like that. And there you go, and you got yourself a little booklet. So it's just a little journaling spot that you can have inside your journal. So I hope you guys found this informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.